AI to help you write a letter or an email, but did you know it can also be used to recreate someone's art? The I-Team is showing you how new technology is combating AI copycats. Da Vinci's Mona Lisa, one of the world's most famous paintings, can be found all over the internet, making it easy for artificial intelligence to copy and mimic Da Vinci's style and work. But what if the image is poison? Poisoning an image means altering the data. AI could try to copy it, but it could end up looking like this. And we need a defensive tool like this to protect our work, to protect our look, and to uh, maintain our place in the market. This defensive tool is called Nightshade, developed by University of Chicago professor Ben Zhao and his team of PhD students. Nightshade poisons image data so that AI misinterprets and is unable to reproduce the image. AI models observe or extract features or patterns from images in ways that are very, very different from our own visual cortex. And so what we can do is we can design mathematical functions that leverage that so we can compute ways to make AI models see something completely differently while not changing much, if at all, of what humans actually see of the art. Professor Zhao and his team hope Nightshade will protect artists and their creative industries. We're trying to alter the landscape of how AI models get training data. Uh, and of course the goal is that AI companies will actually go out and pay artists and real people to license their actual content, just like you would in any other industry. Some companies with generative AI or AI that produces content have been replicating or taking artists' work and style without their permission. Artist and advocate Steven Zapata is concerned his art may have been copied by AI. The status quo with these models is that we all woke up one day in 2022 to find out like, oh, I'm probably in there and now I have to compete against this thing and it's devaluing my whole career. Everything's changing. The new poison tech called Nightshade will be released this month. The University of Chicago will be making it available for individual artists. Judy Rod, the university says companies are also reaching out about this, but they haven't figured out how they're going to get it or sell it to businesses quite yet. But this is just so fascinating. New technology to fight new technology. <laughs> Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.